Weaving is a year-round pursuit in Manipur. It provides great economic advantage to women. Through shuttle, locally known as Pang Iyong, produces finer and uniform fabric by allowing more control to the weaver. Artistic designs are created using extra weft technique. Weaving as an art is at its best on such looms. Of the various designs, the pointed triangular border design is the most popular motif. Manipur has seen a river for the pigeon singers here, Magiton and Don by Hiram Kayada, Quena, Masi, a senior donor like Karamana, Seliba, Midugi, Magistrate, Stackle Sine, Adagi, Amarom, Dana Muk, Aquina, Dharma Karma, Magi, Risuelga, Yama Sumari, and Nana, who pumped upon the season. Aquigi, Masi de Yaruba, Magi aesthetic sense, at the Gi Magi motif sing Sigi, Mong Sing Sisu, Yamna, Dharma, Masum Risuelga, Maria Melene, Samna Harabada, Aquigi, Murang Pigi, Magi Yarong Pina, Murang Pi, the Yarba, Atum Dumba Yaru Sing Si, Aquin, Tatin Sensu Gim among the D, Masi Pakang Begimea, the Gila, we had a Masi Yarong Pina Kowi, Aduga, Tatin Sensu Gim, Matum the Nam, Murang Pi, and a Masima Minsale. At the Gihau Dina Muk, Miami Yana Pamna, Masi Wang Pi, and Aquik Kangare. As my dog the Nam, my Tegi, Quigi dressing, the Yarba motif singers, Irai. Masi can live in a day, Masi aesthetics, a digi culturally, the religiously based where God by not opening. Most motives are abstract representation of the ancestral god Pakangba. The head portion is recreated in the headgear Samjin, while Ninkam represents the tail. Koijao was the first embroidery work. This pattern was popular until the introduction of Koi Okwebi design. The eight figurines inside the circular frame represent seeds of fruit. The innermost circle symbolizes the pitcher. Tenga separates the circular frames. The two crescent figures represent the moon. This motif is taken as fertility, prosperity and good luck symbol. The pattern on the cross section of timber is reproduced in the Hijamayak motif. This motif is not worn on auspicious occasions. Patterns on the ventral side of Pakamba is represented in the Kamu or Kamen Chatpa. Subtle needlework embodies the bridal lace of a princess, while the lace of a commoner is less elaborate. The Yensin motif lace identifies noble men and women. Animal and floral motifs on this offering cloth signify royalty and progress. Fish and animal motifs signify prosperity. Floral designs decorate the gallantry reward shawl called Shafi Lanfi. These motifs are of Shami Lanmi Fi reward shawl. The abstract motives of heavenly bodies represent the supreme power of the king. The dresses of the Metes are quite unique. Children adorned this attire on their first feeding ceremony. Casual wares for the traditional Mete women consist of a loincloth called panik and a wrapper or inafi. Kude is the loincloth for man worn only at home. On wedding and formal occasions, women wear the exquisite wangke fi with Mayak Naibi Panik, while men don plain white loincloth called Paijom with a white Pamyat. A special way is prescribed 
for the bride and groom on the day of the union. Married women wear panik in the Fidol Chinkatpa style. On ceremonial and festive occasions, the noblemen wear the Kamen Chatpa with Ninkam and Kwangset as over garments. The moral idea of simplicity and humility is reflected by the use of white attires on solemn and devotional observances. Black attires depict bravery and cruelty and are reserved for warriors and executioners. Like everything else, weaving also needs a good and sound starting. Expertise of an older woman becomes a must during this all-important stage. It is an art that requires patience, perseverance, discipline and character to master it. It is the most painstaking and subtle phase of weaving. This cloth is to be woven with 900 strands of thread. Each strand is to be passed through a specific heel. When all the strands are passed through the heddle, they are passed in pairs through the reed. With the reed in its harness, the warp is tied to the cloth beam. Warp beam occupies its place. Rods are inserted between the banks of the warps to enable weaving by center shedding technique. For smooth and easy weaving, starch is applied. After hours of relentless effort and dedication, weaving begins. <laughs> 